Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 Wards and Wards. And in this one, I have a feeling my end is nearing. <laughs> We're 58 years old. And our health is poor. Uh, and it's ailing. We're infirm. Uh, and for somehow we're still alive. It's It seems like we are clinging on to life. Uh, How is Joshua doing? He still hasn't got a child. Right. And you're still not pregnant. Okay. So in this one, I think we're going to declare some more war before we do die. I think, let's see, we got 15 months left on this one, 4 years on this one. So 13th of August next year, we can finally go back to war with these guys in the west. What's this? My wa wife has given birth to another daughter? And you guys have decided to name her Phoenix. So let's go ahead with that one. May you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter. Thank you there, Phoenix, for the name suggestion. Oh dear, she was born with the lover's box. Okay, and you wanted to go learning lifestyle focus as well. So let's go ahead and get her educated. Alice Savita, you will educate my daughter for me. Ah, born with the lover pox. That's so unfortunate, so unfortunate. What's happening here? I don't think anything important, so let's ignore that. We're increasing control. We're converting the faith. Hurry, my liege, you have to hear this. The wet nurse Palav uh, Palavi rushes me into my daughter's chambers. Palavi points at Phoenix in excitement, so I lean towards her and listen. G but Governor Champion! Looks like Phoenix already has a martial spirit. Ah... Why don't we? Because I am ambitious and callous. What else can she say? She's increased her martial by one already. She was born literally less than three weeks ago. And she's already getting buffs. That's insane. Right, we've unlocked another stewardship pack. What should we get here? We could get... Hmm, extort subject, republican, tax contribution, monthly income while at war plus 10%. We do plan to go to war again very soon. So I think that might be useful. The question is, will we be alive when that time comes around? I don't know. My grandson Bellet has been invited to a gathering of peers by Count Vlad. Have a good time, my grandson or my son. Uh, you should make some friends uh, and whatnot. As for my granddaughter, we never married you off, did we? Uh, I don't know what to do here, though. We can't really marry her off. Oh, I can invite her to my court, though. Okay, if I invite her to my court, there we go. She just insta teleports. Okay, <laughs> the the travel system isn't in in place for everything. It seems right. Let's try and find her a good marriage. We could go alliances, but even better, I guess we could go for traits because she's not a, a daughter of Joshua. So why don't we go? This is the wrong wrong thing entirely, isn't it? Yes. Let's go for traits here. Let's go inheritable. And then if we sort by age, let's try and find someone at least around her age. I mean, this fella here is robust. He's in his 30s, though. Well, we could go for this guy. Hmm. I think we're going to go for robust. Let's try and get some strong champions. So we'll send that one off. And then as soon as he arrives at my court, I'm going to have to demand his conversion. We can't have him... Oh, he's not going to accept. Because he's zealous. Oh, damn it. Oh, I should have double-checked that. I can demand payments, though. So let's go ahead and get another 50 gold there. Thank you very much. What we could do with this gold is increase our, our men-at-arms. We could increase the siege equipment as well, so we can siege faster. I think that's also a good idea, because we are lagging behind just a tiny little bit. I throw away my covers the moment I feel something brush against my leg, but the swift movement only agitates the snake. The snake moves swiftly and strikes... The snake's venom spread with a burning sensation from my body, but I called for my physician at once. It was a painful endeavor, but as the sun rose, the pain of the poison was finally letting go. <gasps> Who murdered me? Count Alexandru? <laughs> oh, he's still coming for me. I will make him regret this. I am coming for your lands very soon, and hopefully then I can imprison you. Oh, that could be something. Can I murder him as well? I can murder him back too. Either way, I want to murder him. Or when we declare war, hopefully we capture him as a prisoner. And then we can torture him and eventually kill him. He will suffer for this. I'm already on my deathbed. And he, he tried to poison me. Deserting levies for 10 years. Minus 30% levy size. Oh dear. The children are once more at play in the courtyard. And today they are engaged with their toy swords. Dreslav seems relentless with the other children. Taking several of them at a time and besting them with ease. Among the usual screams of play, my ears suddenly perk up as he screams, Truth over virtue, scum! Oh no. Those words are for Vinterlasty lips only. And look at that, we have become noteworthy. 
So children are now born with 300 prestige. Marrying into the dynasty gives 200 prestige and rulers get a maximum of plus 20 long reign opinion. Uh, very nice. We have ruled for a long time. Should we get the 30 gold? My grandson isn't even... Yeah, he doesn't even have land, so he's not going to get any more gold, is he? What about this? My granddaughter is somehow getting gold, but very slowly. So let's just take the free gold as well, because I don't think she's going to get any more. And then what we can do with that is let's improve the siege equipment. We need more siege equipment so we can siege faster when August comes about, which actually is quite soon. He didn't find any secrets. Keep on looking, my wife. I'm sure the emperor has some things that he doesn't want to see the light of day. And if you can find them, all of his gold shall be ours. The time has come to treat your grandson. I recommend drastic measures, but the choice is yours, my lord. Uh, oh, he's lost. Okay, he's no longer Ganjin. But he is severely injured, which is not good. His health is fine, though. But it is too late for caution. I think we do need to heal him. Did you manage it? Oh, you did. He's only wounded now. Oh, nice. Okay, Joshua, you will survive. Uh, and you will impregnate your wife. Please. <laughs> I, I, I'll imagine if we get Herculean and Genius at the same time. To my vassal as an influential despot, it is only fair that you have a voice on my council. In recognition of this fact, I hereby offer you the position of Spy Master. Do I even have good... I have six intrigue. Uh, thank you very much, though. I'll take it. Uh, we're going to make another attempt to sway Peter. I don't think that's necessary. Who are my problematic vassals now? Oh, we can't sort by opinion here, can we? Ah, uh, that, that does annoy me a little bit. Are you of age now? You are. You're 16. So we can sway you. So let's go ahead and do this. Hopefully we don't get any rebellions and then whatnot in the near future. The latest work of my liege, Basalia Simeon, has become all the rage at court of late. The peace deals with feelings of sorrow and loss and Simeon has publicly dedicated it to me. So he has written me a poem called The Autumn of Sorrow. How cruel a mistress is random chance to leave us all in this cursed trance alone bereft without that sweet man our hearts, our minds, our souls all damned. So far I've kept my thoughts to myself but the buzz has grown too dramatic to ignore for much longer. Jo I can see this is truly heartfelt. Thank you my emperor. First a position on your council even though I lack the relevant skills and now a lovely poem as I lie on my deathbed, I can only thank you. Ah, David's had another child. Why is it not Joshua? Okay, it's a daughter. Let's call her Yiska. There we go. What date are we at? May. So another two months and then we can declare the war. That's going to be very nice. Ah, Joshua. You need to get down to business. See, if I was playing as Joshua right now, I could do a seduction scheme or something. But uh, alas, I cannot. Oh, what's this? My spies have informed me about a hunter causing a ruckus at the local tavern. The man has been spending large amounts of gold and bragging loudly about the great deal he struck with a fancy lord and pearls and silk. Apparently, he drew a map of the local hills for an unknown nobleman. The, spe the spies... <laughs> I nearly said species. <laughs> the spies think the Lord must be scheming against me as one of my subjects. <laughs> oh, my English skills deteriorate day, after, day by day, every day. Um, yeah, throw him in the dungeon. He's clearly betraying us and helping someone scheme against me. Let's get some more siege equipment. That's going to be useful. Uh, just in time for the war, actually. And I think that might be the last county we need to own all of the Jorvalakia. Let's double check that in a moment. Uh, Ballet, you're going to go meet your peers. Oh, and another thing instantly popped up. Okay, we've learned that you are sodomite. Let's go ahead and get that blackmail. No, that's Anna. Yeah, we need to blackmail you and hopefully take your gold. How can I see Dejour Valakia? We do this one. Yes, we just need to take this county and all the Dejour Valakia will be mined. Let's go ahead and get another 50 gold. And that allows us to instantly upgrade this again. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. When you get things off the ground in Crusader Kings, you can do so much more. I felt for so long, I trapped myself in this tiny little corner, especially when we converted to Chorizm. But now we're reaching the stage where we can actually do things. And it's so damn rewarding. Uh, what would be more rewarding, though, is a child. Bless Chorizm. The god, gods, god, god has granted us 
a holy child. Hopefully he's born with good traits. I can now declare wars against Severin. Right. <laughs> Your time has come. They do have allies. Where are you guys? Oh, you're all the way down there. We shouldn't have to worry about them. We have more numbers, but that's because of allies. Let's go ahead and claim the county of Severin. I will conquer all of the Jorvalakia before my life passes on. Let's go ahead and move this rally point. We do have a castle right here, which will be good. And I think, Peter, you're already leading an army. Right. Should I lead the men one last time? I think I should. Wife, give me my armor. This is giving me... Uh, you know in Vikings when Bjorn puts on his armor for the last time? We're doing the same. Let's take off the cloak. Uh, why did I pin myself? <laughs> Wrong button. I, I can't click. Let's open this. We need to take off the cloak. No cloak. Let's save an exit. Give me my armor. One last time the men will see their ruler lead them into the war. Oh, what's this? Anna has died. She drank herself to death. But I cannot mourn. I have business to attend to. Men, follow me. Follow me. And reap the rewards of the great Valachian kingdom. Okay, the allies have joined them. Let's go ahead and watch the Battle of Severin. Look at this. <laughs> Fighting in favorable terrain. We have destroyed their bowmen. Uh, and even captured a prisoner for ourselves. Very nice. 68. Traded for 624. And we wounded too. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. How long to siege? Seven months. Okay, so the siege equipment are doing a little bit. I mean, we only have 35. We're under capacity. Uh, but we're, we're doing okay. When the time comes, my agents will need a safe escape route out of Count Alexandra's castle. Should anything go wrong? A detailed map of the local hills with all its hidden paths and caves would be an invaluable resource. I could ask my friend, Mayor Alexandru. And he will map the surroundings. Yeah, let's do that. And we've found more secrets. Everything is, is suddenly going rather well, isn't it? Let's go ahead and get some more blackmail going on. Oh, attempted murder. That's going to be very profitable. At least uh, I think it should be. Uh, we, we got a hook. Let's see. How much gold for this? 50 gold. Another 55 gold. <laughs> We're so rich. Oh, it's so good. Demanding payment for hooks. Neighboring ruler won the war. Let's see. Oh, they're our Russian neighbors, but they're not of our faith anymore. Oh, you defeated a Vlak. Okay, you've taken this. Well, oh, this is gone now. That's fine because we took the Jorvalaka at least. If we eat up this, then the kingdom is uh, complete. I became best friends with my wife. Do you know what? How are we still alive? It, it surprises me. This character, he, he's an absolute unit. I mean, how old is he now? 59. And how long have we been infirm for? Will that show us in, in memories? Let's see. I don't think so. No, I don't think... Oh, I ended family feud. We were infirm even before that, right? Unfortunately, yeah, I don't think it shows becoming infirm up here. It's unfortunate. Ah, oh, so many... So many sons have died. We have a lot of memories. Wow. <laughs> when did we start rule, uh, ruling? Oh, that doesn't say, does it? Oh, I became the ruler here. 29th of January, 910. We've been ruling for 57 years. That's a long time. Uh, the forceful knock on the door clears every bill of drowsiness from my mind. Who disturbs a despot at this hour? My late night visitor is none other than Stephanos. I have to speak with you privately, my lord. Away from listening ears. I have discovered something very interesting. Stephanos has uncovered a secret of Theodosia, my wife. He is willing to share it with me if I let him off the hook. You think you can make demands? Tell me or else. She's a non-believer. My wife, how could you do this? You know how important my faith is to me. Ah, but she is my best friend. I am willing to forgive her. I did demand her conversion. She has done her job very well. She has murdered my enemy. She has found me secrets. She's looking after me on my deathbed. And we are blessed with a grandson. A great grandson even. Joshua. 
has finally had a son of his own. And you guys have decided to call him Sigurd. Thank you very much there, Kim, for the suggestion. So let's go ahead and open that. May you grow to be strong and wise, my great-grandson. Oh, he's, he's a genius. He's hail. He's gonna be formidable. And you wanted him to become a steward. So let's go ahead and put him on stewardship focus. And then if we educate the child, we should have some geniuses in my court. Let's see, if we go for this, isn't my, isn't Joshua's wife a genius? She is. So let's go ahead and have her educate the boy. Uh, oh, where is it? Is it Sigurd? Yes, yeah, Sigurd Vintelasti. Uh, and we'll send that one over. Oh, he's, he's amazing. Right, let's go ahead and pin you. Uh, but for now, we're going to go back and focus on the war. How long do we have left? Two months. Uh, and very quickly, that's going down to one month. The, the allies of the enemy here are coming in for one final battle, though, by the looks of it. And we found another secret. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> it's all happening now. Right, so you're a non-believer. Oh, you discovered a secret that I already know, though. Ah, that's a problem. Oh, the battle is underway. Let's go ahead and watch the Battle of Sir Severin. The second battle, they got a lot of bowmen. Also some armoured footmen this time, but just look at it. It's a slaughter. And we captured one of them. Another 50 gold. <laughs> oh, it was so worth leading the men once more. I have made my statement on this earth. Are we going to win the war of this? We have. And we captured someone. Unfortunately, we didn't capture our enemy, though. Right. Let's enforce the demands. To the contemptuous Ivan, your low character is the subject of Greek plays. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to pull an end to his bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. We can disband the men once more. I survived the final battle. And all of Dijor Valakia is now mine. Now, I wonder, are you my courtier? <laughs> oh, you're not, but you are at Severin. Okay, I'm going to try and continue to murder you then. Uh, how did we do in the final battle? 100 traded for 900. Hepatios was maimed, though, which is a little unfortunate. Right. The prisoners. Should we sort some of this? Can you be ransomed? No. Only for a hook. Although, do you have gold? No. So it's pointless ransoming you for a hook, isn't it? Hmm, what about these guys? You could be ransomed for 10 gold. It's not really worth it. That's for a hook. But you don't have gold. And then you can be ransomed for 10 gold. So let's do this one. And then I think everyone else. Let's see. Yango good prowess. But the thing is, you are Karai. Correct. So I will release you anyway. Uh, you I will release, but only if you convert. Do you have good prowess? No. So we're not going to keep you. Narciss, let's see. Do you have good prowess? Not really, so I'm just going to demand conversion. And then we got Lentios. Does he have good prowess? No. Oh, I need people with good prowess. What about Angel? You're already black. Oh, we're gaining so much stress because I'm callous. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, I'm about to get stressed as well. And we're above the domain limit. Okay, let's check succession. Who's going to inherit this? Count Vlad. Oh, he's only eight years old. I mean, he's 15. So why don't we go ahead and give him Severin? He's already a little bit older. And then as long as we aren't losing Georgiou. Yeah, we're not losing Georgiou. We should be good to go. Everything's fine. We're not endorsed. Oh, dear. You hate me. That's because of my acts in the last episode. Well, why don't we go ahead and swear you instead of my vassals? And then if we look at our buildings, can we upgrade anything? No. So, uh, I think we should just improve this. Yeah, let's just improve the army because we're going to need them. Or at least Joshua will definitely need them. Greetings, Despot Ivan. I have no choice but to accept your conditions for my release. Okay, let's go ahead and approve all of these. <laughs> That's going to take uh, a little bit to go through. All of these in it. Farewell, Bartholomus. What's that? What a name. Uh, oh, hooks expired. Okay, so what's our next move? We have to go south. We could do... Oh, Moldavia. We could go north still. Because, oh, I'd have a claim on the chiefdom of Galati. But is it worth going to war for? Or should we start fabricating claims down here? We could start fabricating claims down here. Maybe we take Bulgaria. That's quite a big kingdom, isn't it? 
Is Bulgaria being deleted? I think it has. Bulgaria existed at the beginning, but now it's gone. So why don't we take these neighbours on the coast first? We could do that, couldn't we? Okay, uh, oh, but we're converting the faith. Let's wait until we convert the faith, because I do want Karayism spread throughout all of these lands before we go off and declare more wars and whatnot. I have an event in my royal court. I see my court tutor, Hepatios, with a flock of his students encircling him. Tutor, what is a parallelogram? Tutor, what does it mean to make love? Tutor, should I be blowing my flute louder or much louder? Hepatios looks up at me and second eyes. My lord, I can bear it no longer. Please relieve me of my position. Hepatios has served as my tutor for uh, his lifetime, pretty much. Oh, dear. I understand. We shall search for a new tutor. We will look for a new one, Hepatios. You have served me well. I am willing to let you move on to the next part of your life. Greetings, my impressive liege. I've arrived in Targa Vista to pay homage to you. Ah, Lionel, my son. Welcome in. Oh, what a shambles. He's, he loses prestige. He stumbled. Uh, but at least we gain renown and prestige. To be up here in Ivan, having your grandson Hanako in my care has revealed an unfortunate truth. You care little for traditional black virtues. Brats who know nothing of our ways grow into vagabonds in your court. Our people's leaders will all know of this. I have made sure of that. <gasps> Oh, crap. Rejecting communal ways for 10 years. Oh, that's that's brutal. I must prove him wrong. Enforcing cultural values. Same culture opinion. Different culture opinion. That's fine. Yeah, I must address it. We must prove him wrong. I am the future of the Vlack culture. I mean, look at this. Vlack is... Most of it is all part of my kingdom. We are the future, and I do want to stay true to the Vlack culture. We said that previously. With my leave, my daughter Phoenix and a wet nurse parade into my chamber. Plavi looks like a herald and proclaim, or poses, My liege, you witness a monumental occasion. Phoenix has a mighty gift to offer you, she nudges her fawn. Go ahead, Phoenix, tell him. Father, I lost a tooth. <laughs> oh, my daughter. Do you know what? I'm going to become the tooth fairy. Here you go. I lose stress, which we need to do. I shall give you gold and you can give me your tooth. My wife didn't find any secrets. Keep on looking. So we've gained a tooth here. Prestige and child opinion. I mean, we already have these two. Why don't we uh, destroy... That's got 38 years. That one's only got 23. Vlad's milk tooth. We could destroy this one. And then we can equip this one. It just saves us uh, a little bit of gold and makes us a little bit more. How much to improve these guys? 90 gold. They're quite expensive, aren't they? I mean, we can get 15 gold from Phoenix, though. <laughs> We gave her gold for the tooth. And then we used the hook to demand the gold back. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> I didn't realize that was an interaction. Oh, that's... Do you know what? That, I mean, it, I mean, that's more ways to make gold, right? If you just have a load of kids and you have the golden obligations, just have loads and loads of kids. Get as many wives as you can and they all give you their tooth. You give them 15 gold. You get the tooth, which you can sell for 40, and then you can use the hook to get your 15 gold back. You just generate. One, you're expanding your dynasty, which is good, because you get more kids and uh, more alliances. And then two, you just keep generating gold from having kids. It's bloody genius. Right, as sacred rights dictates, all minders, my granddaughter Arina and the hostage Drislav unleashed their growing hatred. Oh, they're not getting on. Oh, competition sharpens my granddaughter's wits. She's not very intrigue focused. Do you know what? I really do hope that Sigurd here gets some good traits. I mean, he's a genius. So he already starts off with five and everything. But Joshua hasn't got the best traits, has he? Right, we can afford to upgrade the armored footman again. So let's do that one more time and then they're maxed out as well. And that's going to give us, what's that, 1,200 men at arms? That's quite a lot. I think that will be enough to infiltrate the Byzantine Empire. My grandson, Chieftain Andre, has honoured me with a visit and has brought one of his courtiers along. Andre approaches me excitedly. Well met, Despot Ivan. It pleases me to see you thriving here in Targa Vista. It occurred to me that Andre here might be of service in your court. Ah, uh, he's... Oh, he's got 24 Marshall, though. Do you know what? Yes, I know just the place for him. How is my Marshall? It's pizza. Oh, but Peter deserves the position. He really does. I don't want to kick Peter off the council. He, he's earned that place thoroughly. 
He really has, hasn't he? Ivan, you're good at learning. Well, I can't replace this now. Damn it. Uh, what about you? You're good at diplomacy. I could replace Franjo with Stefan here. Why don't we do that? Right, Franjo, my grandson, you're going to become my chancellor. There we go. And then... Let's see, we got Lionel. Lionel, you're not good at anything. So we're going to ignore your requests for the time being. Ah, uh, it's so sad that I deleted this. Becomes my acclaimed knight. Oh, my knight died. So we need a worthy successor for which one? So this is at level two now. Oh, nice. Uh, and this is the one we need a successor for. So let's go ahead and seek a worthy successor. Also, Bellet needs a new guardian. Right, Bellet, you're focused on diplomacy. But I'm going to swap that over to Marshall. Even though it says you're not very good at it. You have 10 Marshall. I think that's a, a much better focus for you. Do I have a good Marshall? Andre, I found a job just for you, my son. Right, and also I need to demand conversion. Ah, he's because right. He won't accept though. It's okay. It's still Judaism, so we can accept it a little bit. It's fine. Prince Artu has become a leper. Artu's skin is marked with lesions and discolored patches, indicative of their reduced ability to feel pleasure, pain, and other sensations. Am I going to witness another son dying? Please, no. I can't. This life is too cruel. It's too cruel. I can negotiate an alliance. I, I can't negotiate an alliance, though. I can recall hostages. No, I can't. But my daughter's almost of age. So when she comes of age, we can freely declare war against Philip Popopopolis. Yeah, that's the that's the name. Right, we found another secret. Let's go ahead and get the blackmails going in here. So your sodomite, we can blackmail this. Let's see. We accept that. Let's blackmail this. We got more hooks. Oh, the payment's going to be beautiful. Uh, can we blackmail you? Okay, it popped up. But I had this up. Also, what's this? Demand artifact? My grandson Ivan II wants to find the master of game. No, it's mine. Oh, this. They know that I'm on their deathbed and already they're trying to fight over my inheritance. Ah, oh, absolute fools they are. Okay, we got blackmail hook on you as well. Oh, who's this? Mihal? My hostage needs a guardian. What are you focused on? Intrigue. Hmm. Voika, educate the boy. Thank you. It's always like, do I want to educate them well or do I edu want to educate them bad? I don't know if it affects things. Let's go ahead and max out our armored footman though. So our military is very nice. However, our gold generation not so much now because our unraised army costs minus 7.7. .7. That's a lot of gold. War declared on liege. We'll take a look at that in just a second. I waited hopefully as my granddaughter Arina's birthday approached. It being the custom for hostages to be sent home once they are no longer children. Alas, it seems Duchess Liliana's plan is to keep her. What? They, you can't do that. Surely. No. Can I, can I declare war because of this? Return my hostage. Demand hostage return. Recall hostage. We will not accept minus 100. Oh, big minus 50 because I has her hostage. But it still leaves at a minus 50. Oh, you asshole. No, my plan for war. Okay, to my leech. For too long I have suffered indignities at the hands of Basilia Simeon. I will not stand idly by while our liege abuses his loyal vassals. I urge you to join me in the fight to dispose this tyrant. Oh, we're doing another war for deposition, are we? Has anyone else joined your faction yet? Uh, against the liege? Where is it? Flak quite popularists? I don't think it's been formed yet. Oh, do we do it? How strong are they? They, oh, they're so damn strong. How strong are you? <laughs> I, <laughs> you're the traitor. I'm not getting dragged into that. That is suicide. You are going crazy, my friend. Wow. I mean, someone's come to his aid. 
Maybe we could have helped it. No, look at their men at arms, guys. Like, oh, they got 950 cataphracts. I mean, look at their stats. 120 damage? There's no way you're winning against them. We're going to need pikemen as well to fight that. My niece was killed during the siege of Barlad. Oh, no. Wait, people are sieging Barlad? Where is Barlad? Oh, I don't know. I can appoint a worthy successor. Okay. Uh, for this one, wasn't it? Yeah, Grigor, you're going to become successor for this. Okay, so that's fixed that over here. But sadly, guys, that's going to be it for today. So we'll see how this civil war plays out. In the next one, what are my plans? We're going to go south. We can't attack Philippopolis. What I'm going to do, once this is converted over here, uh, then we are all correct. I'm going to start fabricating claims down the coast, maybe. Or along this southern river. And um, we're going to move slowly closer to Constantinople. That's the plan. Because the more land I have under my control. When we do declare war against the emperor. That should be less levies and whatnot he gets. But his men at arms are so strong. It's going to be a while before we can fight them. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you next time.